welcome to the April TSG Multimedia Video Podcast. This is John Abaticola standing here with Dan Gordipassi, as usual. And obviously we're looking at some models here. These are HO scale uh, models. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're supposed to be demonstrating here, Dan? Okay, well, I'm basically just going to show how I, I like to operate the models in terms of the actual motion of the trains. I don't have a very big layout right now, so I can't really do a lot of like operation in the sense of, you know, running trains over long distances or simulating that or, you know, that kind of thing. So mostly what I do is a lot of switching and, and different things. So I like the engines to have a good performance. And um, what I see a lot in other models sometimes is um, an effect like this. I'm starting from a standing stop. Watch the blue engine. You see how it just started? Yeah. It kind of jerked, huh? Yeah. Now, I've never seen a real train do that. Oh, you haven't seen those turbocharged ones? <laughs> <laughs> see, no. it's just all of a sudden it stopped and then it's going. And that's what I see a lot of people do. So the yeah. reason I like to have a decoder, like a look sound or a lens or something, with a good back EMF implementation is so that I don't have to have that kind of performance. It's supposed to gradually start, right? Right. So it should. what it should do is something more like this. Yeah, that looks more like a real train there. And gradually accelerate. Oh. Oh, I was going to say you better blow the horn because he's started without blowing the horn. Yeah, I'm... FRA's going to be after you, Dan. Yeah, I messed up my signals. <laughs> anyway, that's that's what I like to see in a model, and that's why I'm such a kind of a stickler for that kind of performance. Because I like to, to have it, you know, start smooth and stop smooth. Yeah, it's de it definitely adds an element of realism if you have it instead of just jerking around like that. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't see any reason to, to go to all the trouble to build a model, weather it, detail it, and, and add sound, and do all that other stuff if, if then it runs like a, a tin plate train, you know? Um, I really like to see them run in a realistic way. Makes sense to me. And, you know, like, if you have a passenger train especially, you don't want the little passengers to be jerked out of their seats when they start or stop, you know. Yeah, that may hurt ridership. <laughs> what the heck is that? That's What's the Amtrak that? engine. Oh, yes. Well, I guess it's about to move then. <laughs> Damn, that thing's loud. <laughs> I think we've seen this engine in person. Yeah, we have. More than once. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the right cars for it, but... Um, do, they, do they make Amtrak California cars? Do you know, I don't think I've ever seen those before. Um, there are some available as kits, but they're pretty expensive. This Amtrak engine was actually one of the ones on our DCC installs, uh, HO DCC oh, installs volume one. Right, I remember that. And uh, I, at that point, I just did a simple install with a Digitrax decoder, but now it has a look sound select, and I put a 28 by 40 millimeter speaker in there since it's a, you know, it's a, a got a full width body, so you can put a bigger speaker than you can in an engine like the GP38 over there. That's probably why it's so loud. Yeah. And what I liked about the, this horn on the Select is it sounds pretty much like an Amtrak horn. That's the uh, K5LA. Anyway, this other engine is... Uh, that engine, the Amtrak engine, is an Athern uh, in ready to roll line. F59 PHI. The uh, GP38 is a Proto 2000 model that I did a lot of work on, painted it, detailed it. And this is actually a model of an engine that I photographed uh, in Truckee, California back in 1993. Wow. So um, since I'm modeling 
more or less around that time period it would fit in. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use it to uh, do a little switching. So w would that be like one of those sort of contract power things? Yeah, it's basically a rental. <laughs> yeah. Um, at the time, I think Southern Pacific was leasing power because they were short on uh, motive power. I actually have the little switch stand uh, made to move also. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now I'll do this properly. Yeah, you don't want the FRA coming after you for not blowing the horn before you leave. Yeah. I don't know if it shows up at the, uh, I have the marker lights working, or the classification lights, I mean. I'm kind of like the little HO scale FRA, I like to, all the lights to work. So I'm going to bring it to a stop right before I couple. And then, assuming the brakeman is out there signaling to the engineer, then you move forward. Yeah, I didn't hear a big clanging noise. Oh, was that it? Yeah, but you gotta do it <laughs> manually and you gotta have really good timing. So now I'm gonna stretch. There's a little bit of play just like in the real ones. Yeah. Huh? Okay, so now you know I got it coupled. Turn the can bell off. Put the put the brake hose on. Yeah, we have to pretend about that, but I can <coughs> do an air let off. <laughs> which I like to do to simulate. <laughs> it almost sounds like a whip or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then And that's that boxcar you added the crankshaft thing to last time, huh? Yeah, the door opener, yeah. Coaster, San Diego to Oceanside. This fully digital production is proudly presented by TSG Multimedia. The Coaster is a popular mode of transit for both commuters and tourists in the San Diego area. Join us as we follow the Coaster through some of the most picturesque scenery on the West Coast. This full-length feature is packed with current and historic information, as well as great scenic shots along the former Santa Fe surf line. From downtown San Diego, through the Sorrento Valley, Along the cliffs in Del Mar, north through Solana Beach, Encinitas, Carlsbad, and into Oceanside. With appearances by Coaster, BNSF, Amtrak's Surfliners, Metrolink, Sprinter, the San Diego Trolley, 
and a special appearance by Santa Fe 3751. Join us for this great look at Toaster and its rail connections in the San Diego area.